Hi guys and girls, it's Mariana and as the title suggests, this is my how-to guide for festivals. This is whether you're going on a day festival, weekend festival or a broad festival. Um, can I just show you my nails? Yeah. For the Jubilee. Um, but yeah, this is my how-to guide on festivals. Um, now I'm sort of a bit of a veteran, this will be my sixth year of doing festivals. Fifth year? Fifth year of doing festivals. So, um, quite a long time really. Um, there'll be sort of different parts. There's a, um, a makeup look guide um, and then there's a hair, sort of what to do with your hair and also a festival look book. So there's going to be like a series of four in one because festivals are something I'm very passionate about and I love. Um, so yeah, this is sort of my, my festival guide if you like. Now fashion wise I'm going to do a look with stuff that I would wear to a festival but I would take stuff that's inexpensive. You do not want to take stuff that's really expensive. You're going to lose, you're going to get dirty or whatever. You don't want to take stuff. T layering up as well like take a really warm hoodie, take a rain jacket, take wellies. Even if you know it's going to be sunshine always take wellies because you never know. Um, so that would be my first tip you know take, and also take stuff that's like easy to pack and versatile because you want to kind of scrunch it up and put it at the bottom of your bag it doesn't matter if it comes out crease because well uh, now for makeup i have actually got my makeup bag um that i will show you first things first like take a mirror like take one of those small mirrors that you get along with that you know you can work with um and a little makeup bag that you keep everything in there now um i'm just gonna take stuff out i've got um a lasting powder, a hair clip, mascara, um, like one of these uh, found, not foundation, are they like, I don't know, eyeshadow things, but they're like a moussey one, because uh, they tend to stay on for quite late, along, um, and coloured um, eye liner pencil, a uh, black coal pencil, um, an eye primer, uh, my Garnier roll-on, very important uh, to highlight and also for the blemishes, another mascara, a lipstick, a comb, uh, a BB cream, you do not want to take your expensive foundation because if it spills, breaks or anything, you want to take something that's really easy to pack as well and quite light because you are going to catch the rays and stuff and I think you can get BB creams with SPF 15 or anything like that, you want to have some coverage on your face. Um, some brushes, waterproof mascara, um, a blush, again not expensive, and I've got a lip butter or a lip conditioning would sort of be perfect for that and just keep it all in a little makeup bag. Um, so yeah, that would be my, my thing. I would take glitter, anything that glitters, uh, or face paint, anything like that, because you do want to be a bit crazy at a festival and you can get away with wearing tons you can literally dip your face in glitter and it'll be fine no one will care um, especially in Glastonbury because it is that I do not care who's around me I'm just gonna have a good time so that will be my number one tip as well is get some glitter now shoes by the way I've written everything down on this piece of paper so that's why I'm looking down a lot um Shoes, I'll take something that's really easy to wear. For me, I think this year I'd be wearing creepers because they are slightly higher off the ground so I'll be able to see a little bit better. Do not take platform um, wedges or anything with a heel. That's just stupid. And don't take flip-flops. Take shoes that are secure. So if someone tramples on your foot and you, you, you can't lose it, like you can't lose a shoe. Um, Vans have proven very, very, very helpful. Um, Converse, sort of the biker boot type things. Um, creepers, those are the kind of shoes that you want to wear. And also get a good pair of wellies. In TK Maxx, you can get Hunter wellies for about 40 quid, which for me is a bargain because they are like 90 odd quid. Um, jewelry, again, more fun jewelry. Stack up bracelets. Bracelets are always a good thing to, to do. Um, I just stack up like a bunch of bracelets. Um, rings, something that's very secure that you're not going to lose very easily. Necklaces, I wouldn't bother because, yeah, and again, with the earrings, I would just sort of wear something very simple. But again, kind of cute and fun. Um, accessories, I have got two 
sort of bags that I would take for a festival. One would be sort of like a rough trade bag, like um, the only thing with these is they haven't got a zip for anything at the top so you can't really secure it. Um, they are kind of good um, to have. Uh, and then the next one is this, it's bright, it's colourful, it's a bit loud, it's a bit in fashion right now. I got this from Urban Outfitters a good couple of years ago and it strings together like this and you can wear it over like that so no one can see anything or you can sort of wear it loose um, and this one actually still has mud from Reading I think or Glastonbury one or the other on it so very sentimental value it's my go-to festival bag so you want something sturdy and good um nothing too bulky um I am going to talk more in depth about sort of my hair and what you do I would suggest getting a very good dry shampoo a brush you cannot use straighteners and I swear on my life, no one ever believes me when I tell the story, but the second or third time I'd been to Gastonbury, a girl came out of a tent with her straighteners and went, so, where's the plug? Are you stupid? It's a field. So, don't take straighteners. Um, do take cute hair accessories and stuff where you can cover your hair and it doesn't matter. Hats are also a good thing. Um, yeah. Sort of. Yeah, hats, hats, yeah, yeah. Also, don't get cornrows because if the sun's shining, you know where they part the cornrows, it just gets into your scalp unless you put um, sun cream on. Um, I also wouldn't straighten my hair. I kind of keep it like this. It makes it sort of stay better for longer. Um, nails, I would keep short because, again, you're putting up your tan, you're doing lots of stuff with your hands, so you want to keep your nails short. Um, I'd have a fun nail polish and also keep that polish that you've put on in your bag so if it ever chips you can just quickly do it or if you don't care, you don't care. Um, now these are my essential, essential tips. Face wipes or wet wipes, these will be your shower for the festival. Um, I normally buy like the 100 pack of wet wipes, um, baby wipes, they're really moisturising and they clean every bit of dirt off you if you haven't got access to a shower and then I always take makeup wipes as well. You don't really have time to run a hot, um, like you know, run your muslin cloth off and take your Lizelle cleanser off, you don't really have that. Um, obviously a tent. Get, um, I'd always get a three man tent, um, two man tents are a little bit small, especially if you're sharing somewhere you want something a bit bigger, um, and you can get tents in every colour, every size, every variety, um, same with sleeping bags as well, I just have a bog standard really warm sleeping bag, um, mine's for like up in the mountain sleeping bag, but it gets so cold at night that you definitely need warmness, um, Water, always carry water with you. Um, if you are of the age of 18 and you can drink, take booze with you. Just do yourself a favour. You don't want to spend festival, for, um, like, just, it's too expensive. So just, what, take booze with you. So much easier. Um, also, snacks slow releasing, so like flapjacks, um, those little uh, cereal bars, crisps. You want stuff, also always carry like something sweet with you because you are going to be running around, you're going to get drunk, you get drunk by about 2, 3 in the afternoon and then you're kind of crashing. Always have some food with you and you can always get food um, at the stores and sort of shop about a bit because you can can find good places um, that do nice food for very good prices as well. Sun cream, very important. Um, I normally take factors 30 or 50 with me. Um, I don't like to burn. After sun, also very important. Toothpaste, toothbrush, you don't want to go without that. Bog roll, they don't supply bog roll. Get your own bog roll. And also, I carry bog roll in my bag. Same as wet wipes. Um, hand sanitizer, very important. Um, what else? I always sort of keep an item of clothing in there. So if I'm wearing shorts, I'll put uh, leggings in my bag so I can change and I'll be a little bit warmer. Extra socks because you're going to be sweating quite a lot jumper, scarf, anything to wrap you around when you get cold. Um, take, only take your essentials, don't take any, um, any unnecessary items with you, it's just pointless. Um, also plasters, paracetamols, anything like that you want to take. Um, I always take a book with me just because I know the journey 
to and from the festival is quite long so I like to take a book. I don't take my iPod, I take my phone, I have a portable phone charger thingy, um, I literally switch the internet off for the whole week and only use my phone when I have to. Um, camera, uh, is that all? I think that may be all. Um, yeah, I think that's all. But yeah, so that's like my festival festival guide. Um, also, I would advise to do some research on the place that you're going to. Um, I'm not doing any weekend festivals this year just because of money and also because of the lineups just haven't haven't attracted me that much to wanting to go for the whole weekend. Um, the only one that I would probably go to is Latitude. Um, I think that's too posh for me. I've been told. Um, but I am doing a couple of sort of day festivals. Um, Love Box on the Saturday, hopefully. Um, Reading on the Friday, which is The Cure. Quite looking forward to that. Um, and then a couple of other bits and bobs, like Stone Roses. Um, but yeah. So this is my festival guide. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, take a minute out to subscribe, rate, comment. Follow me on my blog. Instagram, Twitter or Tumblr. The main place you're going to see me is pretty much Instagram. I love Instagram. Um, but yeah, so I hope you're all well and um, thank you to all my new subscriber and I will see you in my next video. Bye!